Hi, and welcome to my shack. I work a lot from home in my daily job as a software engineer, and the corner of my bedroom was less than an ideal solution. That was one of the many reasons why we decided to extend our house. And while planning my new office, I figured it could double as my shack. Being able to plan my shack from the bottom up was a great opportunity to do things the right way. Did I manage to incorporate everything a shack needs? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. The room is about 3 times 3.2 meters. It is in the corner of my house with a great view, so I put in some large windows in the corner. I left my wife to decide on the color and chose to go for some high quality carpet tiles for floor. The carpet reduces noise and catches dust so I get a better work environment and I don't have to worry about my chair scratching up the floor. I made a fairly wide entrance for coax through a 50mm pipe that connects to a junction box outside. I have some lighting protection here that are connected to a ground road right below. I also bring earth connection through this box and into my shack and connect it to my main ground rail in the shack. And if any of you have concerns regarding my ground, rest assured I got ground covered right here. One of the coax cables runs to my homebrew VHF UHF antenna mounted on the roof. The other cable runs to my main HF antenna and the end fade half wave antenna for 80 to 10 meters. This antenna is mounted in my humble mast in one end and runs over my house up into a tree and down again in an inverted V. But now let's uh, head inside. The room is just big enough that I was able to have two corner desks in opposite corners. Before closing the walls I made sure to add pipes going everywhere. I used 36mm corrugated pipe I had laying around that will leave room for a lot of cables. I ran one pipe from one corner to the other corner, so I'm able to connect the workstations. I also ran uh, some pipes uh, from the shack and up into the loft, so I can run cables to the roof or to other parts of my house. The laziness got the best of me, so uh, yeah, the cables are still laying open on the floor, but it's gonna be done someday. My plan is to add a patching panel just next to where the coax enters the shack. So I have a flexible solution and are able to run signals wherever I want. This corner is dedicated as my working area. I put in a ventilation channel and connected a ducted fan and a flexible pipe that I can place right next to me when soldering or working with other nasty fumes. And the suction is great and I'm really happy with this solution. Yeah, so let's take a closer look on my uh, working area. On the top of the desk I have a decent size uh, ESD mat and it's uh, connected to electrical ground so I can work uh, on the ICs without frying them and in, uh, in the front I uh, bought this uh, measuring tape um, of AliExpress that I can uh, glue down to my in front of my desk so I'm uh, always ready to measure stuff that's uh, nice uh, over my desk I have this uh, power strip and I have all my tools and also my uh, my ventilation uh, ducted fan connected to this strip so um, I have a single uh, master switch to turn off uh, when I want to close down the shop and uh, go to bed and uh, we have some solder and uh, my soldering station uh, welder soldering station and I have a bench power supply, a variable uh, and uh, current limiting. It's uh, I found it invaluable when you uh, work on electronics to have a decent um, bench uh, power supply. Uh, yeah, and we have uh, some off-brand uh, hot air gun. Use it for uh, shrink tubes and uh, desoldering uh, some ICs and some rare times uh, I uh, do SMD. Uh, yeah, uh, some MISC stuff. I use B uh, microscope with a 3D printed printed uh, gantry. I will leave uh, leave. Uh, yeah, I will leave some um, links down below for some of these stuffs. 
And we have uh, here some measuring tube. And also on top of my desk, I have uh, some batteries and uh, tape. Not very organized, some uh, cleaning mediums on the bottles. Yeah, uh, I do. We do burn through a lot of batteries here in the family with uh, kids in the house. And also, uh, this is called a robot uh, workshop uh, for some one reason. It's uh, for the kids. Uh, they bring their robots and all their toys here to be fixed. Uh, so, here are the latest uh, crap I need to fix. Uh, why do they always need to buy these uh, <laughs> these things that break all the time? <laughs> but okay, uh, and uh, then we have some um, drawers here, not uh, really organized. I have to get them, uh, look through them, and uh, clean up them. And on my wall, I hang all my tools, my handy tools, and um, I like to use these uh, magnet strips. I find them uh, more useful than having a separate place for every tool. I'm not that organized. Uh, with, the, with these strips, I, I can manage to hang up the tools uh, and I can manage to find the tools again. So that's uh, that's the way I go. We have some paper towel. Above my working area, I put up these shelves. And it's nice to have, uh, I found it nice to have all these boxes. Some of them are for parts, uh, but a lot of them are also for uh, all the projects I'm working on. I do work on uh, more than one project uh, at uh, a single time. And um, it's nice to have bo a box and then keep all the parts together for one project in one uh, box. And if I'm waiting for some uh, parts I've ordered or something, uh, I just keep the project in the box and uh, and have everything ready uh, when I'm ready to work on that project again. So we, here we have uh, some uh, LED light, connectors, sensor and motors, buttons and switches, some different tapes, uh, hot uh, glue gun, some solder soldering stuff, uh, glue, uh, my uh, USB oscilloscope or Logic Analyzer, the, it's the analog discovery too. Uh, I really would like to, to get a bench, uh, to par bench um, oscilloscope someday, uh, but um, gotta save up some. We have some breadboard stuff, ferrites and toroids, resistors, uh, copper wire, different project boxes, and here I have a box with uh, all my caps and uh, transistors and uh, variable resistors and transistors, they say, uh, diodes, a lot of, I need to get that one organized. And yeah, some more projects, projects, projects. You are going to uh, get to watch some of these projects uh, get realized uh, over time. Here are some of my uh, son's projects. Yeah, I do share this area with my kids. And then uh, we have uh, uh, some more breadboard stuff in there and uh, prototype boards, uh, some project boxes, soda beam uh, cord, yeah, different antennas. And uh, yeah, we have some, uh, uh, <laughs> why do I keep books? You'll see maybe one that day or umbrellas. And then we have a tuner I need to get fixed. Up here I have some microcontrollers and uh, battery packs. And down on my uh, right side I have uh, drawers. Here we have some uh, zip ties and some velcro straps. And I think these velcro straps are really nice to, to keep my cables together. Use them all the time. We bought them off AliExpress. I leave a link down below. Um, we have some decade resistors, a multifunction tester, a multimeter, crimping tool, some more soldering irons, uh, a bit uh, 
more bulkier soldering iron if I want to do some huge uh, if I need more heat than the well can provide. Yeah, and then we have some more connections here. And I have a shelf on my left side where I keep a lot of hardware stuff. I have a lot of screws, uh, different hex screws and regular screws and whatnot, springs. Uh, and we have a crate with uh, all the, a lot of uh, power supplies that I may use someday. Some cords. And uh, I don't know, a lot of different stuff, I guess. Uh, some uh, metal balls. I did use some metal balls for my ATAS uh, uh, capable uh, antenna at some point. And uh, I was uh, wondering if I needed some other sizes, and I did buy bo bo this with other different size. I don't know what can I use them for. Maybe I find find some some use for them one day. We have uh, some uh, ball bearings, standoffs, connections, a lot of different stuff you may need. And yeah, behind uh, my door, I have some of my portable antennas ready to go. And here we have the home office. I do work from home uh, sometimes. So I had the computer and uh, two screens and uh, but I also use this space for uh, when I operate radio. So I have the radio stashed in this uh, shelf. And you have seen it on several of my uh, videos and live streams. This is the spot I'm sitting. And uh, above the work uh, desk, I also have shelves. And here we have the, my printer and some uh, paper for the printer. Yeah, key, key here and uh, some uh, uh, spare cables. A two meter uh, UHF VHF radio. I haven't uh, gotten around to test yet, but I plan to very soon. Yeah, and we have some keys and different stuff. And on the top shelf, there's some RC stuff. I've also been into RC, not so much uh, lately, but uh, yeah, it's there. 